fans of YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. How y'all doing today? It's another slate of football games, three, starting at one o'clock. And probably going to last almost until midnight, like last night's games. Uh, Washington football team, I thought y'all had a little more in you. But y'all just couldn't get over that hump. NFC East is completely shut out of the playoffs as of now. Seattle, shocking. They lost to, well, what basically was a backup. And then the original starter, Jerry Goff, came back and led them to a win. The Rams over the Seahawks. What in the world? Buffalo and uh, went down to the wire. I mean, some pretty good games going on. We'll have to see what happens today. Uh, in other news, Mr. DC Fitted gave me a comment about uh, Zevin. Zevin Collins from Tulsa, 21 years old, 6'4. 260 linebacker uh he said i haven't been looking at a lot of prospects which i haven't had the chance to start yet but i will uh, i took a quick look at some of his work uh depending on how the combine may or may not go for him he could possibly be a day two day three pick for me uh he's got the definite uh he doesn't have the speed that you'd want out of a linebacker. Uh, he does chase down some plays pretty well. He's got some great read. Uh, he's definitely diagnosing plays uh, in the highlights I saw pretty well. Uh, he's a smart looking linebacker back there. We'll have to see if uh, he hits anybody else's radar. I'd probably take a swing at him. Why not? It's not going to hurt you. And with his instincts and a guy like Sean Lee maybe on the sidelines as a coach or a player coach helping him out, I think he could be a good compliment for Vander Ash. Uh, Jalen, yeah. <laughs> because neither one of them would have that kind of speed to keep up with uh, receivers or anything. But at least... Uh, if he was paired with Van Der Esch, that would be two linebackers on the field at the same time who can read and diagnose plays and get to the ball carrier better than Jalen has been doing. So we'll have to see, Mr. DC. We'll have to see if uh, he ends up on anybody else's watch list. Uh, next up, I want to talk about Mr. Will McClay. And as you know, he's basically been the de facto GM for quite some time now with the Cowboys and you kind of got to start wondering how many more years is he going to decide to not take a GM job somewhere he's got the pedigree every offseason teams have been calling to get an interview with him and he's turned them down or the Joneses have turned them down so you got to wonder how long he's going to keep this mediocrity going before he decides enough's enough or does he know something we don't? Maybe he knows behind the scenes stuff, as he should, where he thinks this team is actually headed in the right direction. I mean, technically he would know since he's the guy who's been doing most of the uh, draft work and trying to find, uh, you know, unrestricted free agents and, you know, guys off the street when Steven's not doing the free agency looks. So... He has the GM job in spirit, just without the name. But, you know, we just have to see how long he might want to stick around here. Because I know if I was him, it's only going to go so far if the, you know, if it's not worth it anymore. You'd like to see something come from your work. And the way these guys are going, who knows if they'll ever see it. But... If he wants to stay with the Cowboys, that's his prerogative. Uh, he knows the Joneses. The Joneses know him. I mean, they go out of the country and let him do most of the off-season work anyway. So that's where that goes. But uh, lastly, we may not get a scouting combine this year. 
Uh, it depends on safety protocols and stuff like that. Uh, at this point, they may cancel the combine. So, again, the most looks we're going to get off of potential draftees is their film work. We're not really going to get, you know, official measurements or anything like that. No 40 times, no cone drills, no high jumps, no long jumps, uh, none of that stuff. So, if you see a prospect that looks good on tape in college, then you're going to have to probably win it. You've got to have to hope for the best. Uh, most of the skill position players, it's going to be easy to see them pop off on screen. It's going to be guys like the defensive line, offensive line, where you really got to get that deep grind in and see the stats that don't show up on the stat sheets, you know? The pressures, the double teams, the triple teams, stuff like that. It's going to be a little more work for scouts if they can't get a, you know, in-depth look at them at a combine. So that's where we are. Another whole set of games today. Another whole set of videos for me today. But I hope you have a good Sunday. Take care. Stay safe. VA Dallas Cowboy fan.